Today on Always Hungry, we're making a Roman classic, Rigatoni alla Matriciana. Let's get going. The best part about this recipe is all you need is five ingredients, which are crushed tomatoes, some pasta. I have some beautiful rigatoni. Shout out to my friend Emily from Only Pasta. Best pasta in Montreal, let's go. And uh, some beautiful pecorino. And the king of all cured meat, the guanciale. From my friends at Paul Beau Rivage, there you go. Not sponsored, you know, just shouting out the homies. And some black pepper. So first step, we have the guanciale, which is a, uh, a pig's jowl that's been cured, kind of like pancetta or bacon, but you know, the good thing about this, what you need is the ratio of fat to meat, which is obviously very high on the fat side, which is gonna make the pasta, right? So uh, we'll just take the rind up to start with, like this. Okay, I think I might even cut this thing in half one more, like this, and then I'll go like this. Perfect. And kind of like uh, cutting lardon. Oh, this is not very even, but it's okay. So just go like this. Okay, and now I'm gonna put these in a hot pan, just kind of like if you would be cooking lardon or bacon. So the goal here is to just render out all that fat to only have a crispy bit left. And uh, yeah, like I said, the fat is gonna be a big part of the sauce. And it's kind of like a, almost like a rosé sauce. The ratio is pretty much half uh, guanciale fat and half tomato. And it sounds crazy, but that's what makes this pasta so rich and decadent. So we have a hot pan, the guanciale goes in. That's the sound you want to hear. Voila! Oh yeah, it's nice and hot in there. You don't want to get to your pan too, too hot because then uh, it won't, it's gonna, it's gonna kind of like burn before it renders all the fat. So kind of go medium, medium high heat is good. The smell. Smell that black pepper, that salty, fatty pork. It's a beautiful thing, guys. It's a beautiful thing. So we'll let that render out nice and slow, chill, take our time, play some basketball. And I missed. It's already like translucent almost. Oh, beautiful fat. Just make sure they're all separate. Uh, you need a, quite a big amount of fat for this sauce to work. So the key here is rendering. Render, render, render. Render, yeah. What we could do for now, while this is going, is uh, just do a little classic hand crush. You could use also some passata, which is like the, uh, I guess, tomato coulis. Uh, but here we have some whole Plum tomatoes, which is gonna hand crush like this. It might get a little messy, but it's fine, you know, it's fine, it's fun. It's also good. Just make sure you have some clean hands, you know. Clean your hands, guys. Alright, this is good enough for me. You know, it's good to have little chunks, like I said. Just crush it, not too much, with your hands. See all that fat that's rendering right now? Oh yeah, baby. Beautiful. Can maybe do a little crank up at this point. Once you have like a good base of fat going, you can crank your heat up. This is beautiful. I mean, you know, since we have time to kill, we could even do some grated pecorino right now. All you need is a good old microplane and a plate and you're good to go, just grate away. Keep an eye on your pancetta. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. On your guanciale, okay? Different, very different. 
Check it out. Oh yeah, you see all that fat? We're off to a very good start, guys. It's already starting to color nicely. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Little pool, pool of fat. So at this point, kind of like stick with your pan because it might go from like, uh, from uh, pale to burnt real quick. See, we're crisping up, we're crisping up guys. You can maybe lower your heat a little bit. We're almost there, we're almost there. Bit more cheese. We're gonna season our water like so, with salt, generously. Should taste like the ocean, you know? Okay, perfect. And our beautiful rigatoni. Look at these beautiful rigatoni. Perfect. Okay, we're almost there. See this? I think we're pretty much at the stage that we can take these out. Yeah, there we go. So what we'll do is just scoop these out. Turn this off for now. So I like to take some fat out at this point. There's a bit too much. We'll just kind of put everything in there. I want to do a bit of a quick wipe to the pan too. Our pan's back on. We'll just pour some of that fat in there. The ratio should be pretty much half tomato, half fat, like I said earlier. So we'll put this much fat in there. Kind of a... And now we we'll only have the nice clear fat. I know it seems like a lot of fat, but you know what? Sometimes, guys, you gotta treat yourself. So here, you have this much fat, and then we'll go tomatoes in. That's the sound you wanna hear. Wow, it's beautiful. This is Magnifico. Mm. Now we can season this uh, sauce with some black pepper. We'll see if it needs more salt, but keep in mind that the guanciale is already very salty. Okay. It could use a bit more salt for sure. Perfect. And now what we'll do is check on our pasta. That one al dente. That's pretty good. Perfect. Pasta can go right in there. Now what I want to do is get some of that uh, beautiful Guanciale here on the side. I'm gonna keep some for the topping and the rest can go right in there. Perfect. Oh yeah. The sound of love, like my buddy Max would say. Make sure you make a mess. It's the best part about making pasta. Make sure you have sauce everywhere. Perfect, that's good. This we can turn off. And this, I think I'm gonna do a bit of a chop for a topping, so it's not like too big on top. Crispy guanciale. Just a bit of a rough chop, you know? That's perfect. Okay, at this point, 
You can even turn this thing off. We're gonna put some cheese in there. Always turn your fire off when you, before you add your cheese. So cheese in there. Probably got some more, but. Okay, here. More cheese in there. Okay, a little toss again. Okay, time to plate. There you go. This is a plate of love, guys. This is all love and caring and passion. I go for a generous plate because I'm hungry. There you go. And you know, obviously on top, we're gonna add some more cheese. Generous as always. And finish up with some beautiful guanciale, crispy bits on top. That's perfect. That is actually perfect. And voila, rigatoni al matriciano. Hey. And now, my favorite part of every episode, it's tasting time. Let's do this. All right, all right, guys. They're so good. Mmm. 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 How can something so simple be this good? No? No need for basil, no need for green in there. Just fatty pork, good tomatoes, good pasta, pepper, good cheese, and some technique, you know? And then you get a beautiful pasta. Mmm. 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 One more bite. Mmm. 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 Mm. And there you have it, guys. Rigatoni alla matriciana. If you enjoyed this episode of Always Hungry, as much as I have fun eating this plate, go leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, do all that stuff, and we'll see you on the next episode of Always Hungry.